Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier and welcome to my very strategically timed video. If you're going to watch any video this month, this is the one. Send it to your friends. Before we start, the mother of all disclaimers. Today the price for an Orion went up by $125 to $450. If you own one, don't melt it. If you have one or more stored up as CCUs or ships in your melt back, go see if they're $325 and then unmelt them. Unmelt them as Orions, or if you plan to use them to cease you to any other ship over $450, it would now cost you $125 less. That means a 600i Explorer for $375 or a Hammerhead for $600. The more you know. Today is 2-3 November and at 12 Eastern, we saw the release of the Anvil Arrow for Warbond, $65. For all the drama associated with LTI, CIG has always told us that LTI doesn't matter, and then put it behind Warbond Concept Sale Paywall. They know that LTI drives the sales and are unwilling to lose out on those boosted figures. So then it's very convenient that we have a near LTI token on the day of the most lucrative week of the year. More disclaimers. You don't need LTI. Before melting and messing around with your fleet, ensure that the target ship hasn't gone up in price. Weigh LTI against any additional costs, and you may need to actually add new money for a Warbond ship to do this. Let's begin. The situation that sparked this video was one of my orc mates had a fleet of mostly six month insurance. He considered the desired composition of his fleet and then planned some changes. I'm gonna start with an example fleet before and after to illustrate my point. He had a Mustang Alpha starter game package with Squadron 42 for three months insurance, an Avenger Titan six month insurance, a Drake Cutlass Black with six months insurance, a Prospector LTI, and an RSI Connie Aquila with six months insurance. First, never upgrade a starter ship. Please just pretend that your starter ship is just game access token and leave it at that. If you do that, you won't eventually end up with a very large ship with only three months insurance. On the first day that the game goes full persistence, I plan to sell my starter at Cubby Blast and use the credit to buy something else. If you've already done that, consider melting it before the sale and buying a new Anvil Arrow game pack with lifetime insurance for $80 war bond. My friend's example target fleet is a Cutlass Black, an Apollo Triage, and a Carrick. Melting the Avenger and Aquila got him $325 of store credit. He also melted the six month Cutlass to get one with LTI. The Prospector already has LTI, and as I said, his game package is fine, so neither of those were touched. The key to this is time and opportunity. This week, all the ships are gonna be available for CCU, with some exceptions. And the Arrow is Warbond LTI for $65. All the ships that he wants are higher in value than the Arrow, which is important because CCUs can only go up. He bought three Arrows for $195, even though he doesn't want an Arrow. These are being used as LTI tokens. When the target ship is available this week, he goes to ship upgrade, buys a CCU from an Arrow to a Cutlass Black, another to an Apollo, another to a Carrick, all using a store credit. Because the properties of the donor ship, in this case an arrow, are maintained, once the CCUs are applied, his new fleet has 100% LTI except for the starter pack. Unlike last year, now this takes a little bit of fresh money. LTI, as I said, is paywalled behind war bond. In this example, it would have cost him fresh money anyways because of the target ships. So in his case, it didn't actually cost any more. The money went to war bond instead of to CCUs. Please don't pledge over your personal limits. The game development will go on without you, so please use this suggestion to your advantage only if you plan to pledge more money anyways. If you're unsure about anything, please ask immediately in the comments so that myself or one of the others can answer you. Don't hesitate to ping me on Facebook. Thanks very much for spending your time with me. Enjoy the sale. Enjoy 3.3.6. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.